Yo, what's going on Epic7? I'm Sue and this video is an update on the situation involving the English voiceover artist of Flaunt, Kelly Ohanian. In case you missed that, I will link it down in this video's description. To give you the Cliff's Notes version of it, Kelly Ohanian was replaced by Ashley Edner for all versions of Flaunt about a patch or two ago in Epic7's English dub. We speculated last time this has to do with the SAG after strike against Blindlight Studios, Blindlight being the company that supplies the English dub of Epic 7 to Smilegate. The current strike is primarily over making sure that voiceover artists have protections to safeguard them from artificial intelligence and using it on their voices. Since then, I have reached out to the community managers of Smilegate in order to try to figure out how this happened, why it's happening. Right? Can I get their version of events? Right? I want to make sure I have as much information as possible. And at the moment, they haven't gotten back to me. Hopefully, they will in the future. And when they do, again, I will make another update video like this one. I also reached out to Kelly Ohanian via Twitter, and she did get back to me. She said she didn't mind me sharing what we discussed with the fans of Epic 7. So I'll read to you her response to this whole situation. She says, First of all, I would just like to say that, as an actor, I have very little interaction with the folks at Smilegate. A few people on the team were virtually present during my recording sessions to approve my performance and whatnot, but beyond that, I do not communicate directly with their company. A voice actor's main point of contact generally is the signatory company, in this case Blindlight, who are hired by the game developers to employ actors, communicate with the union, in this case SAG-AFTRA, deal with paperwork, etc. In the past, whenever I've been contacted to schedule a recording session or sign a contract for Epic 7, it has always been through Blindlight. A few months ago, I was asked by Blindlight to return as the new version of Flan. The strike had been going on for about a month at this point, so I told them that I'm choosing to stand in solidarity with my fellow actors and would be unavailable for the session unless they were willing to sign an interim agreement, aka a temporary and SAG-approved contract with necessary AI protections, which allows actors to work safely while the actual contract goes through negotiation. They didn't outright say no to my request, but their only response was to inform me they may have to recast the role due to recording deadlines, which they have every right to do. It really sucks, but that's just how the industry goes sometimes. Kelly goes on to say, So I did know that they planned to recast the new Flan. What I didn't know, however, is that they were going to re-record and replace all my old lines too. That came as an unpleasant surprise. As for the strike itself, there's a common misconception that voice actors are trying to stop the use of AI entirely across all video games, but that's simply untrue. We are not ignorant to the reality of this technology. It already exists, it's evolving at a breakneck speed, and there's not a whole lot we can do about it. Instead, we are fighting to establish certain protections that will ensure this technology is being used in a way that benefits everyone fairly. And for voice actors, that basically boils down to two major things, consent and compensation. Right now, as it stands in our current contract, employers essentially own our voices and likenesses the second we sign our name and are allowed to use these things however they like for whatever they like over and over again for the rest of time. And guess what? They never have to pay us a single cent for those reuses or even tell us about them for that matter. Why is an actor's voice any different than any other copywritten material? It would be considered illegal to use a musician's song without first receiving permission and paying royalties. Without proper protections in place, we risk losing all agency over our own voices and careers. We risk losing our ability to make a living. Our passion and hard work becomes nothing more than data to these billion dollar companies. And where does that leave us? During our conversation, I also passed along the sentiment from fans as well as myself that we would hopefully get to see her return one day as Flan in the future. To that, she responded with, I hope I'll get to return one day too. My fingers are crossed, but of course there's so much out of our control. I loved voicing Flan. This decision was truly heartbreaking for me. And finally, on the subject of her voice performance that you guys talked about in the comment section, she responded with, The reaction to Flan has always seemed very positive to me but I guess I never realized how much people enjoy my performance. So that's really nice to hear, smiley face. And that's pretty much where I'm going to leave it. That was everything I got from talking to Kelly. If I ever get a response from Smoggy, I'll make an update video just like this one to keep you all in the loop involving everything. With the remaining time in the video, though, I want to talk about this sentiment that was expressed very frequently in the comment section of the previous video. A lot of people 
seem to think, well, because I play in the Japanese dub, this doesn't affect me, so why should I care? It actually does affect you as of this week, in case you were wondering. So, as you can see here from this article, it's in dark mode, so it's to not flashbang you, right? Popular Japanese voice actors band together to fight against unauthorized AI voice cloning. In a significant move to combat the rising threat of unauthorized AI voice cloning, a coalition of popular Japanese voice actors has launched the No More Unauthorized AI Generation campaign on October 15, 2024. This initiative aims to raise awareness about the exploitation of their voices, which are often replicated for commercial purposes without their knowledge or consent. A video posted across the platforms expresses the group's concerns, stating, Readings, songs, and even our voices, which we did not record, have been published online and are sometimes being sold. Our voices are our business tools, our lives, and an important part of ourselves that we have grown up with. Even if it was done by a fan who wanted to hear more of our voices, it is not pleasant to use it without permission. In case you're wondering, the video features 26 well-known voice actors that are kind of supporting this coalition and strike, including people like the voice of Frieza from Dragon Ball Super, Mike Spiegel from Cowboy Bebop, Aaron Yeager from Attack on Titan, uh, Choso from Jujutsu Kaisen, Lelouch v. Britannia from Code Geass, and of course here, Romy Park, who is the voice of Edward Elric, who is somebody that is actually in Epic 7, in case you did not know, right? So, the first video features Nikal, this would be, uh, I believe, Frieza's VA, addressing the issue directly, saying, Please listen to how we, the voice actors, feel about our voices being used by AI without permission. He also talked about the shock and frustration of discovering his voice being used without authorization, right? This campaign emerges amid Japanese voice acting agency Aoni Production announcing a partnership with the AI voice platform Pofont to develop multilingual AI voices for use in global markets. Sound familiar? This is exactly how the entire situation started in the last video. If you recall, at the start of January 2024, SAG-AFTRA announced a partnership in order for actors and actresses to have, you know, kind of another way to make income by using this AI voice platform that another company was bringing forth. So it's exactly the same scenario. So yes, again, this does affect you. This is a very serious issue in the voiceover industry, which is why I wanted to draw attention to it. It's not a secret if you watch this channel a lot. I really love vo the voiceover industry. They are the people that bring my favorite shows and my favorite games to life. And if I can draw attention to their fight in order to bring awareness to it, help them kind of secure their future and their livelihoods, I am more than happy to do that. But now I want to hear from you. Let me know down in the comment section below how you feel about anything we discussed here in this video. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your week, and I'll catch you in the next one. Later now.